Hey there, here's a cool trick that you can try when writing a chord progression. What I like to do is pick shapes based on a melody note in the upper register. For example, on the B string, we have this D pitch right here. What we can do is we can harmonize this with a variety of different chords where this D note is the highest pitch. For example, I could harmonize D with a C major nine sound, or maybe a D seven over C sound, a G major seven sound, or maybe an A minor 11 sound. With each of these chords, as long as D is in the upper register as the highest note, that's the main sound that my ear is gonna gravitate towards. So when I'm writing a chord progression, what I like to do is start with a simple melody in this upper register here and then harmonize it with chords. And one super cool thing that we can do is this meta triad concept. So instead of maybe just making a stepwise melody, what we can do is we can arpeggiate a triad in the upper register here. Take for example, a G major triad in its second inversion. So we could go D, G, and then B. What I can do is I can take this triadic melody here and I can harmonize it with some chords where each of these notes in my melody are in the upper voice. So for example, we could take this shape right here, maybe this shape right here, and this shape right here. And because we have this triad in the upper register, it's creating this cool, coherent sound. So that's the meta triad again. Another example would be to take, say, a D major triad, so maybe we'll go with D, F sharp, and A, so your classic D major sound. So again, we can try and harmonize these melody notes with some chords that fit. Maybe what I'll do is I'll start with a D major seven over A, so that'll be our first chord. And then for the F sharp here, why don't we try a G major nine over A, so we're keeping that nice pedal in the bass. And then for our final chord here, we have A, so maybe that could be the ninth of a G major nine chord. If we put this E underneath, we have a nice E minor nine sound. So once again, if we're doing a D major triad as our meta triad to harmonize, we've got this sound, this sound, and this sound as one possible avenue to explore. Anyway, so that's pretty much the basic idea. So once again, you start with a melody in the upper register, and then you make your melody based on a triad. So it doesn't have to be just a major triad. Like I was playing, you could also do something like a sus triad, or perhaps a minor triad. And so once you have your triad melody figured out, you wanna just harmonize that with chords, like I did earlier. So if we take the minor triad, we can take that, harmonize it with these shapes, maybe we can mix it up change that middle shape there to give us a different sound. So yeah, give this a go if you need a fresh perspective on putting together a chord progression. Hey guys, just wanna say thanks for watching this video. If you like this content, then please make sure to like, share, and subscribe as I put out a new video every single week. And if you wanna support me and the channel, then please consider checking out my Patreon page where for as little as a dollar a month, you guys will have access to some bonus content like guitar tabs, lesson notes, chord diagrams, and other little goodies like that. And honestly, the Patreon page really helps me out as it allows me to get some extra equipment to make these videos better. Finally, I also teach lessons through Skype. There's a link to my email address in the description below. So yeah, catch you guys in the next video. Take care.